taking part in the rapture, and uh, we're going to see him and sing about, oh, I want to see him and look upon his face. There's a lost and dying world out there. And we need to have a burden and desire to drag as many with us as possible. <coughs> May we have a burden of those in the book of Jude, saving with fear, pulling them out of the fire, working. Because what did Jesus say about work? He said, the fields are white, but the laborers are few. Are you willing to work? But he also said that there is coming a time when night will fall us and no man can work. Time is running out. Do we have a burden for souls? Or are we content to sit in our pews? One of the greatest achievements of the devil is the daily saints. They come, they sit in the pew every week, they're saved, but what do they do for Christ? They're almost like those psych patients. What do they do with psych patients with someone? They keep them drugged up just enough to bear the function. You know, they're not really doing anything. They're manageable. They're compliable. There's a lot of people in the church world that the devil has sedated, and they're compliable, and they're not doing anything. The devil doesn't mind if you're a Christian, as long as you're not working for the kingdom of God. If we go to the book of Acts and the seven sons of Sceva, they were religious people, but they lacked the power of God. They went out to cast out a demon on behalf of religion. And the demon showed them reality. Well, they did not have the power of God behind them. There are a lot of Christians in this world that do not have the power of God behind them. May we be workers for the kingdom of God before it's too late. No man knoweth the hour when the Son of Man shall return. But no man knows the hour when God shall call him home either. Any of us could pass away any moment. Christ could come back at any moment. Time is limited within our lives. What are we going to use it for? Anybody have any thoughts, any questions, anything they want to add? If not, let's bow our heads and prepare our hearts for service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and shall continue to do. Lord, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and will continue to do in this service, Lord. Even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. We pray that you set your angels at the four corners of the property above and below, that no attack of the enemy may penetrate. I pray that our hearts and our minds will be in one mindset and one accord, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, that the Holy Ghost may move as he so desires. Knowing the pastor's mind and his lips as he brings forth your message today, give him a special blessing. Anoint the song leader and the musicians as they lead us in the songs you have us to sing and give them a special blessing as well. As they praise you upon the string instruments and the vocal cords. Lord, even right now, I pray that our hearts and our minds will be in one mindset and one accord, that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, that the Holy Ghost may move as he so desires, Lord, that our hearts and our minds will be good soil, Lord, for your word to fall upon that we may remember it throughout the week, but even greater than that, that we would apply it to our hearts, Lord. And may we have a greater desire and burden for souls than ever before, Lord. May we be set on fire of heaven to prevent those from going to hell. We give you all praise and glory for it. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus.